everybody welcome back just uh, finishing getting the solo skiff loaded up and uh, about to go chase some more uh, reds and speckled trout and drum and whatever else we get into of course I'm gonna be using my hardy demon salt with my Lamson liquid with Rio red fish line on it and a seven weight and then uh, I'll be on my 14 foot solo skiff today playing around I uh, haven't fished a lot of the area we're going to fish today. My original plan, um, I had to scrap it because instead of the winds coming out of the north, they're going to be going from like northeast to northeast. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to have to be a little bit flexible in what I do. But uh, I'll see you guys out on the water. guys well we are on the flats now um, haven't seen anything yet visibility is not too bad for uh, what the light conditions are like but uh, I'm just gonna kind of start out with a little bit of blind casting the Portuguese breakfast just kind of see what's going on. Got some shallows to my right over there. And then I got kind of a ledge right off here to the left. So I'm going to kind of just work both sides of this. See if I can't get any clues to where the fish are locating. Um, the water temperature has been kind of dropping having some front thrill through nothing that's been like too crazy but still the water's definitely been cooling off and so the fish are definitely going to be locating or should be locating more next to uh, deep water so I got that channel right up there which is my deep water and then just seeing if they're actually coming out and spreading out on the flats or if I'm gonna have to be more in the actual channel you guys probably heard at the beginning of the bit video I'm like said that the winds were gonna be north northeast um, not the case <laughs> they're coming out of like the south southeast right now so we're on plan C now which uh, it's a little tricky because like I said I haven't uh, actually ran my boat in this area before I've kind of kayaked it twice but I don't remember exactly where I can run and where I can't run so I need to make sure I'm being conscious of uh, making sure I don't put myself in a situation where I gotta pull this bad boy an extreme amount of distance in order to get to where I can run it. Definitely, ooh, that was a nice fish. I think he followed me in. Now I'm seeing some reds. Or some rays, sorry. There we go. All right, first 
threat of the day. <laughs> Need to get that figured out though. All right, let's get you landed. All right. First red after Thanksgiving is uh, definitely a slot. Not bad at all. Show you to the folks and uh, get you back there, fella. All right, nice redfish. Ate the uh, Portuguese breakfast. All right. Well, he's gonna head on back. Where I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's these grass or sand pockets. So everywhere where there's kind of like a light green spot, I want to cast my fly. And I found that if there's any like little pinch points or transition zones or anything between those sand pockets, you kind of want to hit those because it seems like they, the fish like to hang out in little nooks inside of those. Alright, of course, as soon as I uh, turn off my camera, I hook into this little cutie. Ah, man. Little guys may be little, but I'll tell you what, their tails are just so gorgeous. Look at that guy's tail. That's just so cool. hit it and ran with it a little bit the only reason I knew I had a bite is all of a sudden I couldn't feel my bait moving through the water at all everything just went slack alrighty so we're gonna do a subtle Portuguese breakfast now cuz how clear the water is I don't think that they want or even need that much flash. So now we're just going to go with something like this. All right, well, we are back up at the top of that flat. I kind of went up a little bit further um, than I did last time before I started my drift was about 150 yards that way on the last one um yeah so i just got some deeper water a bunch of like little cut channel things around me so i'm just gonna work across those for now with some blind casting and continue the search all right well turned off the uh GoPro and got into this speckler right here out of that little pot right there. So. All right, two species on the day at least. Oh, what are you doing over there, bud? I need you over here. Nice little cutie. Alright, well. It's not bad results at all. Let's see if we can get any more. Ha, 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 ha. 
Right. Well, glad I didn't change from the uh, subtle Portuguese. Because these trout are definitely enjoying it. I'm gripping my rod now. I got all that fish slime on me. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to remember that deep pocket, even with the end of that island, is holding a bunch of trout. Hit that on the next one again. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> All right. Well, the redfish bite isn't uh, that great, but take trout any day. Any day of the week. All right. Let's uh, open up there, Bucky boy. Come on. Gotta let go. I need to get me a towel. Oop, might have been a miss right there. Alright guys, well, about off of this flap, I got into a Pretty decent trout here. So I would definitely uh, keep, probably. Well, let's get them back and see if we can't get another couple before we're off the flat. Might have been a bite right as soon as that hit the water. Another draft. <sighs> <sighs> All right, 
Hey, come on. Hey, you. Come on. Let's chill out, bud. Let's just get you unhooked straight to the people. Alright, well, we got another trout. Hey, come on. Come on, dude. Two seconds and you're done. Show you to the people. Oop. All right, there he goes.